Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this one of the I am a long distance thing. Uh, that this expression here, eight to the power n, right? Plus two to the power n plus one cannot be a square for any positive integer. We have to prove that. So I have divided the uh, plan of my solution into two part. The part one will be our aim to check whether n is even or odd, and then we have to work for two cases: one for even, another work for odd. Second part is going to be we will set a maximum and minimum value for n, and in in between that minimum and maximum value, we will work out every single case and we will check whether this expression is a square or not. If any for any value this becomes a square, then this is wrong. And if no value uh, gives a square, then our proof is done. So let's start. So how to check for even or odd? The best way. Let's uh, assume that a to the power n plus two to the power n plus one is k square for any for some integer k because this expression is square. Let's assume this expression is square. Now, if you take mod three, if I take taking Mod three. What we get? You know that this one, that is a to the power mod three, is minus one to the power n plus two to the power one n is also minus n to the power n plus one. And for any power k, mod three is either mostly for square, either one or zero. Okay, so this is either one or zero mod three. Now, if n is even. Then this total is, if n is even, then this is one plus one plus one three, three is zero more three. So k square is zero more three, which is possible. And now if n equals to or then this is going to be minus one. This is going to be minus one. If or then minus one minus one minus two plus one. And that k square is minus one more three, which is not possible. Second equation, second condition that n is odd is discarded. So we got that n is even only, right? So n is not odd. So we discarded this condition. N is even only. Part one, we got n is even. Now second part, if n is even, say n equals to two m. For some integer, then we have this is going to be eight to the power two n plus two to the power two n plus one, which is equals to sixty four to the power n plus four to the power n plus one. Right, and this is k square. Now, friends, if you notice uh, this one. Now, friends, if you notice this one, 64m plus 41m plus 1 is k square. Note that this entire expression, right? 
clearly note that this is this entire expression that is 64n plus 4 to the power n plus 1 is clearly more than 64 to the power n clearly for any positive integer and this is less than 64 to the power n plus 2 into a to the power m plus 1. See here, here why I have taken 2 into a to the power m so that this is a perfect square, near perfect square, slightly bigger than, right. You can first try 8 m plus 1 but that is not a perfect square, but 2 into 8 plus 1, it, this gives me a perfect uh, square, right. So, I can write that because this is more than 64 to the power n and this is clearly 8 to the power n plus 1 whole square right that's why I have chosen in such a way and this one I can write as not 60 to the power n 64 to the power n I can write as 8m square right this is this entire expression this entire expression you see here this entire expression is now more than a to the power m square and less than a to the power m plus 1 square means these are equals to k square right this entire expression is equals to k square so k square is more than 8 to the power n square and less than 8 to the power n plus 1 whole square and if you simplify k is more than 8 to the power m and less than 8 to the power m plus 1 but friends here you can clearly notice that Here you can clearly notice that 8 to the power m and 8 to the power m plus 1 both are consecutive number, right? And there cannot be any positive integer in between them. So k has no value in, uh, in such a way that this expression can be a square, right? So this is how we try to set a boundary for minimum and maximum value. So k minimum value is 8 to the power n and maximum value can be 8 to the power n plus 1. But unfortunately, that they are consecutive numbers and there cannot be any space in between them so that the value of k can take place. So here it concludes that k has no value. No value in positive integer positive number so therefore we conclude that this expression cannot be a square for any positive number n hope you like this video and if you have any suggestion or any alternative method comment uh, in this uh, comment down below and I uh, will see next time with one new video. Till then, bye bye, take care. And hope you like it. Like, share and subscribe to my channel for further more interesting such questions and discussions.